And let's see what this guy am. Looks like let's open them up straight up the middle. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some outdoor temperate carnivorous plants. And in front of you here is a cobra lily. Now, I've had this plant for a few years. And usually after a few years, the, um, the pictures on them start to brown a little bit. These guys here browned last winter. These are the biggest pictures on it last winter. And we had a cold snap and they browned. This year, we grew these great big ones. Just amazing ones here. I had to stake them up, they were so big. And you know what? Within a few months, they had died. Just the big ones here. Just that. You can see some new ones starting, and you can see what, um, why they are called a cobra lily. They really do look like a cobra. Let's see if I can get a little closer. And basically the way these guys work is when they're mature, this head is gonna swell, and there's a little hole underneath. Insects crawl in that little hole, and once they're in, they see sort of skylights at the top and they keep trying to get up towards the light and eventually fall down the trap and die. Now what I suspect has happened to this guy as he has eaten so many bugs this year that it is actually he's eaten himself to death. Just this picture, but what we're going to do is we're going to have a look to see for sure. I want to see what's inside the stomach of this cobra lily. So why don't we um, get started on this? I have got right below you here a white tray to put them on and a pair of sharp scissors and I've never actually had to trim one of these off before they usually last for years so you can see I had to stake it here let's remove the stake and I'm going to cut him off here right down at the base now you don't have to cut these off but he's looking so ugly anyways I really want to so there is the picture there's the hole where the insects crawl in. It's a very good sized hole compared to other plants or other pitchers. And I suspect that this tube is going to be full of carcasses from all the insects that's caught this summer. Why don't we move you over here? So we both can have a look together. And let's see what this guy am. Looks like, let's open them up straight up the middle. You can see stuff falling out already, especially against the um, white tray. I always thought these guys were very ineffective um, predators. In previous years, smaller plants never seemed to catch very much at all. But um, I just had my suspicions the way this guy died so fast that he was um, a good hunter. There we go. Let's bring you in closer for this. So it looks like this guy has had a main diet, probably of flies. Look at that. I can see some flies quite clearly. There's some in there. Some plants really attract wasps. This guy definitely, he has a fly only diet basically. Let's look at the other half here. One little moth got caught in there. I don't know if that was an accident or not. He doesn't look very digested. But look at how the flies have basically turned to powder in here. And there are so many of them, they just completely clogged up the plant and um, killed the pitcher. I guess it got all the nutrients that it needed. And it kind of ate itself to death. Look at that. Zoom in. 
that is what is inside the stomach of a cobra lily. Enough flies to kill it. Got to be a couple tablespoons of flies in there. Anyways, interesting video. I was curious. You guys um, hopefully were curious and are not curious anymore. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.